Hello, this is Malorian, and this is going to be a 3,000 point game with my Orcs against the Warriors of Chaos. Alright, so the game that we got was Dawn Attack, so all random placement. And uh, we only have five pieces of terrain out here, so there's a mysterious forest up on his side. Uh, up on my side, it's that Idol of Gork. Uh, over on his right there is that Carnal Pit, the minus one leadership. Uh, there's that Flaming Barricade on the right side, and in the middle of my deployment zone, that's that. Bane Rock or whatever where you get the plus one the wound but we might as well forget that because we forgot in the first combat and then this decided not to use it from then on. Uh, looking at what we have for my side I have a Spear Chukka, two units of my 50 orcs that were forced to go on this side so they're all packed together. I have all those chariots in front of my big horde of black orcs, my BSB is in there. Uh, then on the right side I have a couple more Chukkas. I have my bunker of the uh, Night Goblin Archers, and there's my Orc General with the Wizard Hat. I have the uh, Lore of Fire this time. Uh, then I have three units of 50 Night Goblins, two bosses and eats with great weapons. And then finally on the right side, I have uh, my Doom Diver and my other last Chukka. Uh, for him, he has a fairly elite army, as is usual for Warriors of Chaos. He has 10 dogs, he has 15 warriors, he has a War Shrine there another 15 warriors. In the front he has 10 knights of Tazinch and there's also a corn lord in there on a, a, a knight. Uh, behind them there is 15 Nurgle warriors and there is a, a sorceress in there, a Tazinch one. Uh, then he has this big huge horde. It's 50 marauders with great weapons with the mark of Nurgle and then he has a BSB in there making them frenzy as well. So very nasty unit. And then finally he has another war altar and on the right 15 warriors and uh, 10 more dogs. So I got the first turn here and really looking at this game, I know, like, of course I couldn't place anything really knowing what was going on because first of all I was forced to put units in the areas I had to and then I didn't even knew, know where he was going to be putting his stuff. But now that this is down, uh, I'm really looking to try and just bog down those marauders, hopefully beat those knights. Like I, with all those chariots there, I hope I can smash them. And really, whereas usually I try and take out one flank, I'm thinking now that I can use my night goblins, one of them with all the bosses, to beat the warriors on the right. I can beat the ones on the left, beat the knights, and then just stall the rest for the win. But we're going to see how it goes. So turn one, pretty simple. I, I have a couple of failed animosities, as you can see with the yellow dice. Uh, what else I have kind of moves up. I move a couple of uh, the other two bosses from the far left Night Goblin unit over to the right one. And uh, my shooting doesn't very do very much. My uh, Doom Diver kills a couple of the Nurgle war warriors. Uh, but otherwise, my, my magic, the two things I have is the Flaming Swords and the Fireball, but I uh, don't get anything off this time. So, his turn. He basically just moves up. Uh, moving into the woods, it turns out it's a regular wood, so no big deal. Um, in his magic phase, he has the thing that m he has the treason one for Tazinch, so he's trying to make my black orcs kill themselves, so obviously I have to try and stop that with everything I can, and I do, but if that goes off, that's going to be devastating. Uh, otherwise, his uh, war altars makes that left unit over here of warriors nothing, and gets a seven, and the one on the far right gets magic resistance, so no big deal. And on my turn two, I make my move. I hit this unit of his knights with everything I had. Actually, I've already killed one with a spear chukka. And, uh, you know, I'm not really thinking I'll probably win this, but the main thing is I just want to kill as many of these knights as, I, as possible before I'm forced to fight them with my black orcs. However, after everything's done and said, this is what it looks like, which is not what I wanted. As you can see on the right with those white dice, I had a ton of failed animosities, and but, which also meant I had no magic phase. Uh, my chariot's all slamming in there. I rolled really low for impact hits. I think I got one, one, two, and a four, and I only killed three knights. Got slaughtered back, and yeah, now I really did not do enough. On the left side, I had a little bit of success where I charged his dogs, beat them, and there's only one that got away. And actually, that panicked his Chaos Warriors, which was a little bit embarrassing for him. But uh, yeah, so that's kind of good. And then, of course, with some shooting, I think I killed a, a few more guys, but uh, not too much. 
So his turn two, it's a little bit of a blurry picture, but uh, what's going on here is that his warriors rally on the, the top there. His war alt, or uh, yeah, war altar hits me in the flank on the top. Uh, I actually win, he holds, and I reform around to look at him. His uh, knights go and charge my black orcs there, kill a good number, but I kill tons back, so that now there's only the champ and the lord, so that's really good, so now I can start just whittling them down. Uh, magic, I mainly shut down again, but a little fireball thing went and killed the other chariot, so there's only one left from that big push, and uh, he's already coming in with the charges on the right, and first of all, those marauders obviously are killing things really fast, but the other warriors, which I thought would be beating up, First of all, his unit champ killed mine in challenge already, one of them, one of my uh, characters, and that's because I netted myself, so that's no good, but I should still win that because I still have three other bosses. Alright, so my turn three. Uh, I beat the war altar on the top there, and they uh, he runs away but gets away. Uh, my other horde of orcs ran into his other big unit, there, or sorry, his other warrior unit, and uh, I beat them, but they held, or maybe beat me and I held one of the two. Or, I don't know, it actually was a draw. Uh, in the one against his general there with the knights, I killed the last knight, so it's now just the general who's already lost a, a wound. My chariot rallied, and on the right there, I netted myself again, and, uh, you know, I still haven't killed any of his warriors. It's really pretty embarrassing. And his marauders actually killed enough from the one unit so that they weren't steadfast anymore, were run down, and he's now into my second unit of my night goblin. So that's not good. That Those guys are killing me way faster than I expected. Alright, so his turn three. His warriors on the far left, they uh, charge my orcs. I flee, hop over the unit, get away. His war altar fails to rally and runs all two inches back. Uh... In the fight against his lord, his general, I actually managed to kill him. He, he was really tough. He had like plus one strength, killing blow, reroll, roll, armor save, all the stuff. But I was able to get through it, ran him down because I rolled double sixes. And now I'm in this other combat, so that next round uh, turn I'm going to be doing lots of damage there. Um, otherwise, on the right, you know, still just hacking away type thing. And uh, I think what... Eventually, I don't know when it happened, but his dogs came down on the right side, uh, killed my one chukka, went into my doom diver, and my doom diver actually beat the dogs, and they're going to run off the table. So that was probably the best that a war machine of mine has ever done in combat. Okay, so we're now on to his turn four, and things start going kind of good, kind of bad. So... On the, the left side here, uh, thanks to having my black orcs there and stuff, I beat his one unit of warriors. They get away into the woods, but at least I'm, I'm beating them up there. Um, but as you can see on the right, oh, it was horrible. I, I charged two of my bosses out to go fight with the uh, one war altar. I lost that, ran away. Actually, I think that happened in my last turn. That's why the guys rallied in the middle there. But what you can really see is that all my night golems pretty much on the right side are, are toast. Um, he killed enough from the one unit with his marauders that he was able to run them down. Uh, or actually, I think I failed my leadership. Either way, they're totally gone. And on the right side, his one champ, his unit champ, has now killed two of my bosses. And then I failed that test as well, and they got ran down. So, wow, that's just extremely bad. And uh, I just really need to catch up points here. And right now, as you can see, my two characters, my BSB and my general are just kind of hiding and I can't really seem to get any magic off so his turn four his uh, warriors rally there inside the forest uh, he charged the one uh, spear chaka destroyed it and uh, what else his sorcerer moved out so that he didn't need to be stuck in there with the uh, the warriors the Nurgle warriors and then he got, finally got that spell off, so my uh, black orcs killed a good number of their own guys. And really, that's uh, all that really happened here so far. Okay, so turn five, I got a lot of luck here. Um, one of my orc hordes on the left side, I don't know, actually, if you're wondering where one of my orc hordes went, uh, last turn he charged me with his one unit of warriors. I fled, thinking I could jump over my other unit 
and get away like before, but I, I only ran five inches and got caught. So now the other horde charged his warriors. My black orcs charged the few ones he had in the trees, and my chariot hit into the Nurgle warriors while my characters ran away and my archer night goblins waited to die. Um, as you can see from here, I beat both and uh, totally wiped them out. Uh, well, I ran down the warriors and from the left and the few in the trees, I totally wiped out. So now my black orcs are looking to the right here. Uh, my chariot beat the Nurgle warriors, but they held. And uh, again, you know, not getting any magic off, but I actually, you know, now that that one sorcerer is out of the unit, I'm trying to hit him off with the uh, my war machines, but not having any luck so far. Plus, I think my Doom Diver exploded this turn. So his turn five, his war altar at the back there finally rallies, uh, does a couple more wounds to my chariot there, and uh, wipes out my uh, archers that were there. So my turn six, not much to do. Charge those warriors in the side. As you see, I brought them down to three, and they failed their test to turn around to see me. Uh, I actually hit that lone sorcerer with a, a spear chucka, but I only managed to do one wound, so he's still alive. And then my opponent's last turn, he uh, charges and destroys the one spear chucka. And in combat, I went and I killed two guys. His last guy broke. Uh, he actually destroyed my chariot in combat there, but I just was one inch off from catching him, which was uh, no good. And the reason why I was no good is because when we finally added everything up, it turns out he was ahead by 184 points. So uh, a victory to the Warriors of Chaos. Uh, and uh, yeah, if I just, it really just came down to that one last pursue. If I would have caught that one guy, I would have got all those points and got the win. But because I didn't, he did. So, you know, really, really great match. Lots of death on both sides. Uh, I think a big part that I had problem with is that with that big rock in the middle of my deployment, I couldn't really cover all my units with the, the general and things and the BSB, so that wasn't good. Uh, I thought my matchups were pretty good, but overall it just didn't work out in the end. And hey, when it's a close battle, uh, it's something I like. So hope you liked it, and uh, hopefully I'll get another one soon.